So, you took history of China this semester. What was your biggest takeaway? Well, at the beginning of the semester, we were asked, is geography destiny? And I'd have to say yes, yes it is. I mean, look at Huang Lao Taoism and Christianity in the West. Uh, both religions emerged out of a crumbling empire. Both preached the same things of being kind to your neighbor and goodwill towards all. However, in China, Huang Lao Taoism was crushed by an emperor who didn't want it. it. It went against tradition, which was sacred in China because for years and years, there was no need to change. There was no real uh, competition either economically or militarily from whatever neighbors there might have been. Um, however, if you look at the West, uh, Christianity today is a major world religion because Emperor Constantine didn't crush it. He didn't shun the Christians. He embraced them. He joined forces with them because he saw um, he was in trouble and he needed support. And he adapted. He grew. Uh, so he needed Christianity because why? Why did he need Christianity? Um, because at the time there was a major political struggle, and he needed the support of the Christians, um, who were mostly the lower class workers and a decent amount of soldiers, to get political victory. And why do you think that Constantine was? Why did you think that the emperor in China was able to crush the? Um, rebellion with Huang Laodaoism rather than Constantine? Well, for starters, um, the emperor in China had no real political rival at the time. He was the representative of Tian on earth and he was supreme. While Constantine was in the middle of a bitter political rivalry. Um, so, are there any other examples of how geography has very much influenced the way China acts in the world stage? Yes, I mean, if you look how societies in the West and in China differ, the West is primarily an industrial society. And they industrialize to pretty much beat their neighbors. Each industrial revolution um, was near some war or battle or revolution with their neighbors. So in order to win, in order to assert your supremacy, get your ideals, be the primary ones in the country, you need to make better weapons, better guns, better tanks, planes, better bombs, more efficient soldiers in order to win. And now comparing that to China, where as I mentioned before, there was no real competition for thousands of years. They had no need to industrialize. Um, they primarily focused on agriculture and becoming better farmers, more educated farmers, and really just benefiting their country, not just themselves. And even when China needed to industrialize under Mao's reign, it wasn't industrialization where they dropped everything and started making bombs, planes, tanks. No, it was more of an agricultural revolution to lift the country or to attempt to lift the country out of the rubble the Qing dynasty had left it in. Um, now if you look at any revolution in the West have been caused by uh, a goal to simply better the individual and this can be traced back to its roots where you had individual families, tribes, villages in arms against each other over the best hunting ground, best piece of land. Now, while you look at China, any major conflict throughout its history has been for the betterment of the entire community. Um, each emperor that has been overthrown um, has lost the mandate of heaven, which means they were not being good to their people. And um, the people realize this group together and overthrew them to benefit not just themselves, but the entire country. So you're talking about this idea of an uh, individualistic society versus a collective society. And how do you think that geography versus destiny has determined that in the West and the East? Well, like I mentioned before, um, in the West, it's always been 
a cutthroat society where neighbors fighting against neighbors. Um, and then when you look at China, it's the opposite. There were no neighbors to fight against. Everybody was one big community and acted like a community, behaved like a community. There was no conflict over the best hunting grounds, best piece of land because everything in effect was shared.